Okay, moving on. What is ADR? If a dialogue recording can't be used because it's damaged, noisy, or unclear, it must be replaced with audio from other takes or be re-recorded. The process of the re-recording production dialogue is called automated, automated dialogue replacement or looping. ADR sessions usually require the original actor to re-record the dialogue to improve the sound quality or reflect script changes. ADR sessions are also commonly used for dubbing films in other languages, recording dialogue for animated films, or and performing folly sound effects. The term looping refers to the mechanics of recording dialogue replacement that involves playing, rehearsing, and recording the same dialogue cue over and over. So there's a note here that this, uh, some of this may be out of sequence because this is usually done later in the process, but since we're doing recording, it makes sense to do it now. Setting up an ADR session. DaVinci Resolve includes a full ADR tool set in the Fairlight page. In this exercise, you'll open a new timeline for ADR recording and use the ADR setup panel to customize your session. Okay, let's open the 2B ADR session start timeline. 2B ADR. Or we could probably do it from, yeah, 2B ADR. Let's find you. Mm. There it is. So we're going to come up here and choose that timeline to be ADR. And it changes the timeline for us there. This is a longer version of the scene you worked with in the previous lesson. As you can see, each character's dialogue clips have been separated into different tracks. Emiliana, Philip, ADA voiceover, source effects, room, drones, music, ADR beep. This is part of the dialogue editing process. Also, the A1 ADR tracks was created for the replacement dialogue recordings. Okay, this one here. Play the scene once to familiarize yourself with the content and how it has evolved. When you're finished, stop playback and move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. So let's go ahead to the top and play the scene. And go ahead and pause this video and play the scene now to familiarize yourself with it. Okay, now that you're back to this video, you've listened to the scene. Let's locate the dialogue lines that you will replace. They're identified with markers. Press shift down arrow to move the playhead to the first pink marker. Shift down arrow to the first pink marker. So up arrow moves you back through the markers. Down arrow moves you forward through the markers. Here's the first pink marker. Then zoom in horizontally so the pairs of pink and yellow timeline markers are near the center of the ruler and the clips in that section are easy to see. Okay, so we're going to command equal. And we can see those two pink markers. Actually, this looks like they're not quite zoomed in that far. So I'm gonna command minus and come to that level there. There we go, that looks right. Uh, 
In a few minutes, you will record replacement dialogue for either Emiliana's line, identify the person in the med lab, or Philip's line, ADA, how is that possible? Let's play them once and then go to the ADR tools to set up your recording session. Play the timeline from the first pink marker to the last yellow marker. Identify the person on the med lab. Philip Maida. Ada, how's that possible? I cannot explain this discrepancy. Okay, so I'm going to command down arrow, or uh, sorry, shift down arrow. Ooh. Uh, shift up arrow to come back. If I do down arrow, it goes to this last marker where there's nothing. So shift up arrow to come back. And that's going to take me back to this pink marker here. You can also just click the markers, but using those key commands, shift up arrow is real nice. Okay, so go ahead and pause and play that and navigate that yourself and then return to this video. Okay, in the interface toolbar, click the ADR button to show the ADR tools. In the interface toolbar. Oh yeah, um, click the ADR button to show the ADR tools. So right here. Click the setup tab at the top of the ADR tools to show ADR setup panel right here. Okay, so ADR setup. The ADR setup panel is self-explanatory. So let's just walk through the setup for this session, starting at the top with the record and playback setup controls here, record and playback. The pre-roll and post-roll controls let you determine how much time you have before and after a cue is recorded. Think of pre-roll as allowing time for a count in before recording begins. Pre-roll. Set the pre-roll to six seconds and the post-roll to two seconds. Six. So just click in there, type six, and the post-roll to two. Notice that the record source menu is empty. Record source menu. Record here. Uh, to choose a source, you first need to choose the record track. Choose record track ADR. So that's choosing which one of these tracks we want to record to. Okay. Let's see. Uh, ADR. Oh, this one here. ADR. So you can choose which track you want to record to here. We're going to choose ADR. Then in the record source drop down menu, choose your microphone. Record source. <laughs> uh, and this is my UA Thunderbolt input one. You're going to choose, oh, there it goes. It's already armed and ready to go. You're going to choose the um, audience interface one in the lab. All right, I'm going to turn that off for a second so you can hear me clearly in this lesson. The guide track is the track with the original dialogue that you will listen to as you record the replacement. Um, the A1 ADR track is automatically enabled for recording as indicated by the red record enable button that was on when I created this input. Okay. Choose guide track Emiliana. Okay, so here guide track Emiliana. In the record file name field, type ADR scene 7. Like
like that. All right. Looks like we got pre-roll at six seconds, post-roll at two. Our uh, interface input one selected as the source. The recording track is the ADR. Our guide track is Emiliana. And the record file name ADR Scene 7. Now let's move down to the character setup area in the center of the ADR setup panel and add a new character. Click the Add New button. Character setup right here. See this? Add new. And type Philip when you're finished. Or type Philip. Um, let's see, character. Philip. When working with professional talent in the ADR session, you'll find that actors each have unique personal preferences for working with cues. Some like to hear a series of beeps before they speak. Some prefer a visual count in or a colorful streamer that moves across the on-screen text cue during recording and no beeps, whereas others want absolutely no visuals and only a single beep right before they speak. Fortunately, the Fairlight ADR setup panel includes a variety of audio and visual cues you can mix and match to suit your sessions and your talent. In addition to switching the different audio and visual cues on or off, you can also double click the setting name to reveal the full controls of the element. Click the switch to the left of the following controls to turn them on. Beep to in point. Okay, that's on. Beep at in point. Turn that on. Count in. Count in. Video streamer and start timeline. Okay, so we have this matching here. Double click setting titles for the beep into the point and beep at endpoint settings to show the controls for those settings. So double click setting titles for the beep to endpoint and the beep at endpoint. These beep settings offer two types of audio cues to help the talent prepare to record their replacement dialogue. If you look closely at the settings for each, you'll see that the beep to in point is set to emit a 15 dB 1K or 1000 Hertz beep three times before the in point. Three beeps. 1K or 1000 Hertz. Um, let's see. While the beep at endpoint will emit a single 2K or 200, 2000 Hertz. Okay. So there's three beeps to endpoint, and then there's one beep at endpoint. Beep at minus 12 dB at the endpoint where the recording begins. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is louder. This is a little softer, minus 12 dB. The slight difference in frequency and volume level between the two types of beeps give the actor an easy to follow one, two, three go during rehearsal and recording. To utilize the beep audible cues, you first need to create a track and assign the input to the beeps in the built-in oscillator available via the test tone settings in the patch input output window and Fairlight menu. You'll work more with the test tone settings later in this lesson. For this exercise, the test tone settings beeps have already been assigned to the A9 ADR beep track in the timeline, which is here. Double click the count in header to reveal the count in settings. Then Change the count from 
field from five, uh, change the count from field to five, leave the two field to zero. Count to five. Yeah, it's already on there. Five to zero. Count from field to five. Count from field to five. So the count from field is already on five. That's interesting. We don't need to change that. Double click on the on screen queue textile header to reveal the settings. Here you can change the font, size, and other style elements from the on screen text queues. To see a live text preview while you adjust the text controls, you can enable the preview button. Let's try it. Click the preview button in the lower left corner of the on screen text style to enable preview. Right here. The sample text, uh, sample text appears in the viewer. Identify the person on the med lab. Ooh. Identify the person on the med lab. Interesting. The text wasn't in there. So without the preview, it doesn't show here, but it shows here. So you can actually type it in there, but it should have been in there already. I, d I think she says that, right? So let's uh, shift, up arrow, play. Identify the person on the med lab. Identify the person on the med lab. So here it is. Without preview, you don't see it. With preview, you see it. Hmm. So you might need to type that in there if it's not in there for some reason. Change the font to arrow black and the size to 50. It is on arrow black and the size is at 50. So we could make it 60. Ooh, made it bigger. Feel free to experiment with the other textiles changes. When you're finished, reset the size to 50 if necessary and turn off the preview button. Now I'm just gonna leave the size. Okay, option double click any of the setup headers to hide all the open setup settings panels. Option double click any of the setup headers. Um, option double click to hide all the open setup settings panels. There we go. That just hid them all at once. Wow, that's cool. Let's see, there it goes. Option double click. I was just experimenting with that, experiment with that and come back to this. So you want it to look like this when you're done. Manually, manually creating ADR queues. You can import an entire ADR queue list or manually create new queues as you go. Each queue has a unique queue ID number that can be changed anytime as needed. QID numbers offer greater flexibility for importing and merging queue lists and collaborative workflows. In this exercise, you'll create two new queues right in the timeline. To manually create queues, you simply mark an in point and an out point for the queue in the timeline and click the new queue button in the ADR list panel. You can also add the text and character to the queue. Let's try it. So click the list tab to show the ADR list panel right here. So we're still in this ADR tab and click list. I'm going to turn that off for a minute. Move the playhead to the first pink marker. Press I to set an endpoint. 
So I'm going to shift up arrow and come back to the first pink marker and press I. Press shift down arrow to move the player to the second pink marker and press O to set an out point. Shift down arrow, O. Now we've just set an in and an out point here and you can see that region in the green line. In the ADR list panel, click new cue. Right here, new cue. Q1 appears in the list, Q1. When a queue is selected in the list, you can modify its information in the queue editing controls above the list. Let's set the character for the selected queue. So select the queue in the list um, if necessary. Then in the queue editing controls in the character dropdown menu, choose Emiliana. See that? The only element missing now is the dialog. In the dialog field above the queue list, type identify the person on the med lab. The text appears in the dialog field in the queue list as you type. Now that you have created one queue, you're ready to create the next, queue, the next one. In the timeline, use the yellow markers as a guide to mark the in and out points for the second queue. You do not need to clear the current, current in and out points before marking new ones. So click new queue to create queue two. So the yellow points, let's go here. I'm going to shift uh, down arrow to the yellow cue, uh, yellow marker, I. Oh, I'm still in there, that's why. Press I, there we go. Down arrow, uh, shift down arrow, O. In and out. Okay, you can also just click that um, marker, press I, and click that marker and press O but the shift up and down arrows move you between markers. We're gonna create a new queue. Okay, change the character to Philip. And then in the dialog say, how is that possible? Philip. Okay, click out of there. Anywhere in the gray will take you out of this field. As with all recordings, you also need to select a bin for them in the media pool. Otherwise, they will appear only in the master bin. Show the media pool and select the recordings bin. Then reopen the ADR panel. Media pool. Recordings bin. We're already in there. Oops. There. That's what I want. <laughs> uh, let's see. Then reopen the ADR panel. Choose mark, clear, in, out, or press option X to clear the in and out points. Uh, let's do the mark, clear, in, mark, clear out. There we go. We just cleared our in and out points. Recording, uh, your ADR session is ready for recording. So recording ADR cues in the timeline. Once you've set up your ADR session, you can simply go to the ADR record panel to record However, your talent will probably need to rehearse a few times before recording. In that case, you'll use the rehearse button located to the far left of the record panel controls. Mm -hmm. 
In this exercise, you'll open the ADR record panel and select a cue to record. Then after rehearsing the cue, you'll record three takes. So click the record tab and go to the ATR record panel. Okay, right here. In the record panel cue list, select one of the two cues to record. Oh, did I not get this, uh, Emiliana? Where's my other cue? Oh, I lost my cue somehow. Let's see. This is supposed to be Philip. I'm not supposed to say, how is that? Possible. Click out here. How did I lose that before? Interesting. I need these two cues. Hmm. It kept the actual spot, it looks like, in the second cue, but I lost the dialogue and the actor for some reason. So I need to make sure that that's good. There we go. Now when I go into record, they're both there. In the record panel cue list, select one of the two cues to record. Notice the playhead moves to the endpoint of the selected cue. So let's, ah, oh, there we go. Notice the playhead here changes to the spot we set the endpoint to. On the A180R track, if necessary, click the arm button to enable the track for recording. Unmute the track if you muted it earlier. <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so you'll hear that. Zoom in to the queue in the timeline as necessary and resize the viewer so you can clearly see the talent speaking on screen. As you resize the viewer, keep in mind that the only tracks you need to see during recording are A1, 2, and 3. Well, let's see if it'll actually let me do it now. There we go. Okay, so you just drag this corner here and it'll resize bigger. It'll only go so small, but you can make it bigger. Cool. In the record panel, click the rehearse button. You'll hear the audible cues in your headphones and see the visual cues on the viewer during rehearsal. So let's try this little guy, the rehearsal. Mm, the rehearsal guy is not working. What's up with that? Interesting. Did something in the... No, list looks good. Set up. Um, let's see, count and streamer, IQ style. This all looks good. It's coming into the right track. So this feature is not working here. Let's see. Identify the person on the med lab. Hmm. Interesting. So for some reason, my, oh, there it goes. Eight, identify the person I'm speaking with. Eight, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Well, now it works. Okay. I'm not sure why that didn't work for a second. 
Um, I just tried to record it from this marker by hitting Identify record the person here. On the med lab. I'm going to command Z that. Command Z that. Come back here. All right. Eight, identify the person I'm speaking with. Well, now the rehearse thing's working. So it's giving me the visual cues and the countdown. Eight, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Identify, identify the person, the person in the med lab. Okay, let me re rehearse that again. Try to get the timing of it. <laughs> Eight, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Two. Identify, identify the person, the person in the med lab. lab. Well, it's really fast. One more time. Eight, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Two, three, go. Identify Ident the person on the med lab. Okay, so after that high beep, I gotta jump right in there. Okay, you'll hear the audible cues in your headphones and see the visual cues. Chances are your first rehearsal was a little rough. No worries, you can rehearse again. <laughs> Just remember when recording replacement dialogue in sync with the picture, you will need patience and many takes to get it right. So go ahead and rehearse the cue again, or as many times as you need. Don't worry about getting it perfect. When you're ready to record, move on to the next step. So yeah, go ahead and rehearse that for a bit and come back to this video when you're ready. Okay, click the record button and record the cue. A newly recorded region, which is the exact length as your cued in and out points, appears in the A1 ADR track. Okay, let's try that. Um, Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Identify, identify the person on the med lab. lab. Oh, I put a type typo in there too. That's funny. Uh, med lab. Let's see. I'm gonna go to list and fix that real quick. Med lab. There we go. Record. Okay, that was a little crazy right there. Let me try it again. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Identify, identify the, the person, person on the med lab. lab. Dang, it's fast. One more time. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Identify, identify the, the person, person on the med lab. That was pretty close. I'll take that. In the record panel, click the play button to audition the recorded cue. Rate your performance by clicking the stars to the right of the take list. All right, let's preview that one. So we'll come back with shift, up arrow, and play. Identify the, the person on the med lab. lab. Yeah, that was a good f solid four. It wasn't perfect. Oops. What? Yeah, that was a four. I'll take it. You know what? What if we want to do one more? Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Identify, identify the person, person on the med lab. lab. Ooh, let's hear that one. So shift, up arrow, play, spacebar. Identify, identify the, the person, person on the, on the med, med lab. lab. Oh, no. Take three was better. Shift, up arrow. Identify, identify the, the person, person on the med, med lab. lab. Okay. I'm actually going to get rid of... Uh, do I want to get rid of No. Okay. You know what? I'm going to start this as a three. I keep this take three as a four star. These ones are like one star. <laughs> All right. Repeat step seven so that you have at least three takes. The takes are recorded. Let me turn this off. The takes are recorded in different layers in the same track and listed in the record panel. You can play back any of the takes by selecting the take in the list and clicking the play button in the ADR panel. So let's go to this take. Um, shift. Identify, identify the, the person, person on the med lab. lab. I think you just play it Identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. 
I didn't find the first one in the lab. lab. Yeah, that one was terrible. This one's my four star. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Identify, identify the, the person on the med lab. lab. Okay, what if I mute this one? Zoom in here. And then try to see if it matches. Philip Maida. Identify the person on the med lab. <laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> Okay, so make sure you have at least three takes. And you can go ahead and mute this one and listen and watch and see how closely it matches the actor. Pretty funny. So you can listen through the different takes here, basically, is the idea. And I'm going to choose this take. To see the clips for all the takes in your timeline, you need to show the audio track layers. Choose View, Show, show Audio Track Layers. And here's all, your, all my takes. I've got four takes. Adjust the track zoom as necessary to clearly see the multiple takes in the A1 track. So I can adjust this here and the command equal to zoom in on those. And let me slide that over a little. All your ADR takes are in the timeline and ready to use in your soundtrack. This exercise was just an opportunity to see your takes in the track. You'll work more with audio tracks layers in the next lesson. Hide the audio track layers. When you're finished, select the box in the far right column to mark the cue as done. Then deselect the arm button on the A1 track. So we want to select the done on that cue. You can slide over with by sliding this over and reveal more of that. Or you can actually, um, well, you can't make that any bigger. So you have to slide this over to see this done. Oh, why is it not checking? It's not letting me check it. Does this have to be uh, armed? Nope. Well, it's not letting me check it. So, not sure why. Okay. Oh, interesting. I held control and it worked. Delete. Oh, Command C. Hmm. Control, click. Well, now it worked. It's being glitchy. I didn't finish the second one, but I finished the first one. Oh, okay. Weird. Okay. Where I click it is being a little glitchy. So if you try to click it right in that box, it doesn't work. Huh. Okay, I'm just clicking around till it finally works. So I'm done with this one. I'm gonna leave that checked. So try that. Okay, when you're finished, select the box and then deselect the arm button on A1. So I deselected that already. Okay, so if you enjoyed this and want another go at it, feel free to practice by recording the other cue or additional takes. So let's try the other cue. So let's do how is that possible? I'm going to click that cue here, and it goes to it here. 
Let's practice it. Identify, Identify the, the person, person on the med lab. lab. Philip Maida. Ada, how's that possible? How's that possible? Oh, it's supposed to say Ada. How's that possible? Let's fix that. That's funny, the computer's named Ada. All right, back to the top of that. Practice again. Identify, Identify the, the person, person on the med lab. lab. Three, Philip Maida. two, one, go. Ada, how's that possible? Okay, now I'm gonna try it. Identify, Identify the, the person, person on the med lab. lab. Philip Maida. Ada, Ada, how's that possible? Okay, you got to jump right on that last beep. Let's try it. Identify, Identify the, the person, person on the med lab. lab. Philip Maida. Ada, Ada, how's, how's that possible? possible? Ooh, that was really close. Let's try it again. Identify, Identify the, the person, person on the med lab. lab. Philip Maida. Ada, Ada, how's that possible? possible? That was not as good, so I'm going to choose this one. Take one. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. Identify, Identify the, the person, person on the med lab. lab. Let's mute this guy. Philip Maida. Ada, how's, how's that possible? possible? Oh, that was a little late there, right? I'm not sure that it's selecting that. Let's go into view. Um, show audio track layers. And if I cut that top one, it's got to show just that one, or play just that one. Identify the person on the med lab. Philip Maida. Ada, yeah, how's that possible? possible? <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's see, I muted Emiliana, not Philip. Here we go. Identify the person on the med lab. Philip Maida. Ada, how's that possible? Where's he's talking before this? Ada, how's that possible? I can't. What is happening? Philip Maida. Why is he talking right there? He shouldn't be talking. Ada, Ada how's that possible? possible? I cannot explain. Weird. Ada, Ada how's, how's that possible? possible? Oh, he's just shaking his head. It looks like he's talking, but... Identify the person on the med lab. Philip Maida. Ada, Ada how's that possible? possible? <laughs> Not quite in time, but that's okay. So I actually went in and manually showed the track layers and deleted it. Let me try one more take at it. Identify the person on the med lab. Philip Maida. Ada, Ada how's, how's that possible? possible? I can't. There we go. So that last take was much better. Let's play it. Identify the person on the med lab. Philip Maida. Ada, how's that possible? Better. Let's mute Philip now and see. Ada, how's that possible? <laughs> and we'll zoom in. Oops. Zoom in and see how bad it is. Ada, how's that possible? Yeah, not right on, so need some practice on that one. But that is the process. Now I'm going to go view and turn off show track layers. There you go. And see, I just did that without following any directions, and it's good to go back and do that and practice so that you can practice doing it on your own.